Welcome to Ogle's Challenge. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about the easily cheesed the ancient heroes of Moor in Elden Ring. Now, as soon as you enter into the arena, what you want to do is head on over to the purple area and go ahead and throw out a poison mist. And that way, when Zamor appears, they'll begin to get poisoned immediately. Now, just stay in that area while the poison does its, does its work to make the infection happen and just keep your shield up and just move around some of the attacks. You'll probably be fine for a little while and you'll probably have to throw out a second poison mist, but it'll just take a few seconds and some more will be afflicted by the poison. Then once they're afflicted, all you need to do is run to the outer edge and begin to run circles around the arena, just avoiding some more. In this first phase of the battle, they won't be able to catch up with you. So just keep on running around the edges of the arena. Now, Eventually the poison mist will get his health down to about about halfway or so and he might have to do a fireball Or he might have to slice him a couple times to get the second phase to activate But once the second phase activates Zamor is a much much more um, Aggressive enemy for you to fight so what I recommend in this phase is just simply head on over to the wall The invisible wall on the outside get Zamor to follow you over there then set your focus on Zamor and begin to trace your way around the outside wall as Zamor is coming at you. By doing this, you're really restricting the movement of Zamor because he will always jump to his left, which will be toward that invisible wall. So he really can't dodge your attacks too well. And this is when you're going to use your fireball to just simply throw at Zamor as he's coming at you. Now, obviously, as he's coming at you, after you throw the fireball, you're going to want to roll backwards to try to avoid the attacks. But by keeping him along this wall, you're really limiting the dodging ability of Zamor, and just after a few fireballs, have his health completely depleted, and you'll have won the battle. But this is to me the easiest way to defeat Zamor, because I like to limit the amount of moves that he can do. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Elden Ring cheese videos, and by all means, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.